Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Fleetwood Town against Bristol Rovers vlog. Now the last time we played Bristol Rovers, back in November, things got a little bit feisty. Joey Barton got sent off, Sean Rooney scored a 96 minute equaliser. Absolute pandemon. Um, in that one, it was it was a great day. Bristol Rovers had cheap tickets as well. You know they are a good football club. You know with you know a very good set of support, especially at home. And even today, the safe you know safest houses really now. You know for a really good season in League One, third season back after winning promotion last year in dramatic fashion. They'll still travel in decent numbers, although nothing to play for. Uh, looking forward to this. It's against a dead rubber, but just going to enjoy it now. You know, 12 months ago, we were scared of relegation. We played Gillingham on uh, on Easter Monday, and that was a relegation. You know, six points, a winner stayed up. Uh, basically, none of that this year, which is good. We, we could send Forest Green Rovers and we could, you know, hit Accrington to the curve later on in the season. But today, it's all about the gas. Looking forward to this. Come on, the cards. The support on the channel lately has been phenomenal since being back on the scene. So thank you for everyone that has, you know, newly subscribed to the channel. If you could like today's video, let's go for, we'll go for 200 today. Let's try and smash that. Let's get down to Ivory. Come on, the cards. La Bosch. So yes, we're here at Highbury Stadium ahead of today's game against Bristol Rovers. Again, Joey Barton against Scott Brown, two managers that have had a high-profile playing career. You know, both young in management, Joey Barton. Actually, when you think about it, not that young because he had, you know, two and a half seasons with Fleetwood, obviously dipped in at Bristol Rovers. Um, and obviously been there now, what, two years as well. So he's kind of approaching his fifth or sixth year in management. So, you know, not that young anymore. And he's had a already kind of a a big start a relegation in there which is one of the worst feelings in football a promotion there which is one of the best feelings in football a disappointing playoff display so it's one of those with joey mike good yep. to see you bristol you. rovers fan long journey up um again a tough game today for both sides yeah if you win you can go above us it's kind of like a mid-table battle anyone now can can maybe try and go and get 10th now it's that sort of league good first season back in league one yeah, relatively pleased with it. Had a bad run fairly recently, but uh, beat Charlton on Friday. Big difference, made a yeah. big difference. John Mark was scoring as well. He's yeah. been, been, a, been a threat. Joey Barton's your manager. Yeah. Uh, a bit of a lively character. So very very <laughs> quiet, isn't he? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you could uh, say that. We, we didn't really know much about him before he came to Fleetwood. What have you thought of him at Bristol Road? Was obviously came in, difficult situation, took you down, but brought, brought you back up, which is the more um, important thing. Yeah, I mean... Uh, last season was end of the season, just unbelievable. Yeah, um, we got on a really good run, and then you know beat Scunny um, seven 0 last game. Everybody said it was fixed. How can mm. you fix that? You can't. And you look where Scunthorpe are now. It tells you how poor they yeah. were. So Scott Brown's still got a lot to learn. He has done a good job this season. I've been very critical of him at times, but I think as a tactical approach, he's got better during the season. I think his interviews are a lot better now than they were. Um, you know, even his tactical um, kind of decisions and the plays that he's bringing into the football club are much better now. So hopefully Fleetwood can carry on that going forward to the end of the season. I want to see us finish strong because on Friday we were embarrassing. We've got to be better today. Uh, I've always liked Bristol Rovers. I think they're a good football club. I think they've travelled well again uh, today. What is your score prediction today? And <laughs> Again, because it's, it, we're, we're very equally matched, yeah. and Scott Brown and Joey Barton obviously had that heated debate back in November, yep. had the heated debate in the old firm derbies. Do you think it's going to be the same again, a bit of a heated uh, heated affair? Uh, I, I think it might be a bit more relaxed. I think we're, we're both safe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it would take a miracle for either to go down, yeah. so I, I just hope it's a good game. I reckon one all. And one I'll, all. I'd be happy with a one all. So. I'll take that. Mike, all the best for the rest of the Thank season, you. and I'll, I'm pretty sure we'll see you next season. Uh, the ground now. Scott Brown said he'd bring the changes. Well, made one change. Not, you know, so sure about that. You know, Corey Nadaba comes back in uh, for Tottenham Ciara. It's not a dead play for it. Brown against Barton. It's a bit of a, you know, one of those games that you want to win because it's Joey Barton. And they're used to managers. Did well here. I won't be cheering for him, but I won't be booing him. I think that he did okay for us. Got go. into the playoffs, did a job. That's about it. Big game. If you want to bring in that top ten. The 
there's a picture that went up on social media with me the other day. Not looking at people who put it up, but yeah, just in front of me in the stands, I'll get him back for that of me asleep. Yeah, that's that, that, that's how I'm feeling right now about this game. Very little affair. Feels like a pre season affair, really. Nil nil, 10 minutes gone. Look at their side, and they're pretty well organised. 4 1, 4 1. You know, Mark is up top with a decent strike at this level still. You now, Grant Ward, he picked him up. He's going to play 10 or 11 games. Aaron Collins out there as well, who's a very good player. They've got a very good side, and they should be doing where they are in League One. So, they're not overachieving, I wouldn't say, but they're not underachieving. with a goal, you know, he's had a two taken off and it's a really prolific finish really. Strikers finish, simple header, you know, it's a far post, 1-0. Take them all day, but soft defending from them, that's why they're mid-table, that's why they aren't any higher up really. You know, they were poor against us in the earlier fixture defensively and they score a lot of goals, but they concede a lot. And like that, got a great goal by Stockley, that's what we want them to do. Another goal, nothing's happened, very flat game between two sides, let's say. I reckon Joey Barton will get them in and demand a bit more. We've been better than Friday because we can't really worse than that. But we've been at the level that we should be at. It's a danger Collins can cause. Good ball in, near post, got there, got a glance header. Should be putting a bit more kind of weight, a bit more meat onto the ball, but just can't quite do it. Leach, equal to it. it out you know he parries it out probably should do better should catch it as a goalkeeper but again difficult you know difficult when he's coming at you that quick and then you know two or three by Terry I think he did the post then finally by Lewis Gibson who used to play for Fleetwood just knew it was going to happen didn't you so far this game they have been the better side they had two or three times in the first half didn't really take them uh, we had one we took it through Stockley and they scored their chance we had two or three there because they've been the better side we come out second half to kind of Grant Ward, the former Blackpool man on the foul coast, uh, again, he just recently joined the gas, you know, free agent, I, I wanted him at fleet, I thought he was a very good midfielder uh, for the level, and um, I don't know, that wasn't a shot, surely not, he's just kind of, I don't know, looked like a cross, and he's just gone over Jay Lynch into the far corner, and he's 2 on to Bristol Rovers, but been the better side, you know, we've not been great, we've been very poor, you know, it's been a poor game, but, you know, they they deserve kind of two goals, man. We, we've not really done anything, not tested their keeper enough um, to kind of warrant anything in this game. We played Bristol Rose at the Mem in November. We went 1 0 up. They scored two goals in quick succession in the second half. And then Rooney scored a last minute equaliser. The same happened today. To go, they've been 
know, we've seen out the game really well. Game management's been there. Still 10 minutes to go with any time. Still time to get back in it, but it's not been an enjoyable watch, to be honest with you, but they deserve to win it. Barton gets one over on the Cod Army, first with it back to Highbury, end of the first win, and a disappointing display, we didn't play well, we didn't really lay a glove on them, we scored an early goal, I didn't think either side were great, if I'm honest with you, I didn't think that either played that well, but they got the two goals and deserved to win overall. Done to them, all the best for the remainder of the season, I now above us, you know, they're a, you know, a decent side, had a good year, good season, good squad. Uh, we'll see them next year. Um, again, we, we, we can see them too many goals at home now. A good football club, they travel in good numbers. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Please remember to like. I hope let's get 200 on, on it. That would massively appreciate it. Subscribe to the video. I'll see you in the next one. Up the cards. This league one season as a league is just crazy. Up the league one season has fizzled out.